The foreign ministers of Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania and Poland said they could impose new sanctions against Belarus. The diplomats noted that the Lukashenko regime led to mass repressions, participation in Russia's war crimes, a sharp weakening of the sovereignty of Belarus and destabilization in the country. Three years ago, on August 9, 2020, Alexander Lukashenko proclaimed himself the winner of the rigged presidential election, thereby trampling on the democratic aspirations and rights of the Belarusian people, from the website of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Poland. The United States of America has introduced a new package of sanctions against Belarus. Legal entities and individuals are subject to restrictions. Among them are two sons and the wife of Belarusian businessman Alexei Alexin. Since 2021, Alexin and his main companies have been subject to European Union sanctions. Canada has also imposed restrictions on 16 Belarusian officials and Lukashenko associates involved in Russia's ongoing violations of Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Today's sanctions are being carried out in parallel with similar actions by like-minded partners and allies, including the European Union, the United States, the United Kingdom and New Zealand. Canada will continue to work with its partners to ensure that the voices of the people of Belarus are heard and to pursue accountability for those responsible for undermining democracy, suppressing media freedom, committing human rights violations and supporting Putin's brutal war of aggression against Ukraine. Melanie Jolin, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Canada, on the Government of Canada website. The UK has expanded restrictions on Iran and Belarus for their role in supporting the aggressive country. The sanctions list includes organizations associated with the production of military technologies for the Belarusian regime. Today's landmark sanctions will further diminish Russia's arsenal and close the net on supply chains propping up Putin's now struggling defense industry. There is nowhere for those sustaining Russia's military machine to hide. James Cleverly, UK Foreign Secretary on the UK government website. More than two and a half thousand Belarusian officials, businessmen and associates of Lukashenko today are under restrictions. We finally managed to unblock three sanctions packages after a year of pause. It is still not enough to really knock down for these sanctions to be a shock to the economy of the dictator Lukashenko, so that he does not have money to help Putin continue the war and build prisons for repressions against Belarus. Reported by Roman Smoller, Victoria Smirnova, UATV.